there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joint adult and craft related content. Um, I welcome you once again in the last couple months, maybe in the last month, uh, to my floor because I, again, my office at this point in time is still not finished. Um, I think, I don't know about the timelines of when I'm posting everything, but at this point in time, my office is not finished. It is studs and some uh, electrical <laughs> at this point. But I do have an unboxing and I, I just can't wait to open dolls. I don't know how people get dolls in and can hang out with them nearby for weeks and not open them. I can't do it. I need the serotonin right now. Um, but now I have to find scissors or a box opener, so. Okay, so um, this box is from Faye Woods Dolls. Um, I think it was about five months ago, maybe. Yeah, I'd say five months ago. She posted on Instagram saying she had an emergency, like needed emergency funds and was doing a pre-order and the dolls included in the pre-order. One of them was the one I have been watching. I love Faye Woods dolls, actually. She casts her own dolls and she does amazingly cool things with resin, like check it out. Um, but there was this one sculpt that really, really appealed to me. And I think it's called Nyad Nad. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, um, and she would said she would make it in whatever color you wanted. There was only five spots. So of course I jumped on it um, because I don't even think this doll has had an actual like pre-order. It was just this one so far. I think, I could be wrong, but um, I believe she had like just finished the doll. But uh, anyways, I was so, so excited to order her. And um, yeah, so like I mentioned, this artist casts her own dolls. And I'm really interested to see, because the only um, home cast dolls I've gotten so far have been junk casts and uh, they always had bubbles and all that kind of stuff. So I'm interested to see what they're like. So uh, let's get into it. So it's not a doll box per se. It's just a, um, it's like a plain shipper from Uline, which is, Uline is where I get my plain shippers too. Okay, sorry if you can hear construction noises. There's some concrete drilling happening right now. Um, so when I open it up, there's a really cute pillow bag moving it onto my lap. It's very soft. It feels like um, velour and minky maybe. So if I just, oh, here we go. Faye Wood Stalls, we've got a COA. Certificate of Authenticity. The doll is called Lotus. The color is light mint. I thought it was, is it called Lotus the Water Nad? Is it like a fantasy character, creature or whatever? Quite possible in light mint. Doll made September 27th, 2022, model number three. Oh, look at that light mint color. Um, made in a pet friendly household. I am also a pet friendly household. Okay, so the bag. Oh, wow, okay. So the fabric is this like um, navy blue with like a gold. I don't know what you call it when it's like embellished, I guess. It's not minky, it's um, fleece, like cuddle fleece. And then she has Faye Woods dolls embroidered into it here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's on there. And it's tied with this kind of like, I don't know what fabrics are, but I think it's like, you call this organza, like a ribbon. I'm just gonna untie the ribbon. Oh, the ribbon is tied to the bag. I think it's like a blanket. I'm not, not a bag, it's just wrapped. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like a baby blanket. I'm just going to put her beside. You can see it's like a square. It's very, very soft and nice. And because it's a blanket, I can fold it and put it to the side. All right, so this is the doll. I can tell right away I'm going to love the color. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Okay, so 
first of all, the resin quality looks very nice. And the knees pop out like this. They are double jointed. She is strung rather loosely, I think. I can't really tell yet, but she feels a bit loose, but that's an easy fix. She does kind of hold in between poses nicely though. Yeah, looks great. Okay, and then we have the arms. She does not have magnetic hands. She has uh, strung hands. Yeah, she's definitely loose. Um, but yeah, she has really pretty sculpting, especially the hands. These I love delicate fingers. These are super soft and delicate. Really, really sweet. Um, again, I'm. Is that resin or just fuzz? Um, I'm just gonna use the COA to try and get it out. I think it was just a little bit of sanded resin that was stuck in between her. It could have been fuzz too. I'm not sure. Um, but the sanding is pretty good. Like the resin looks really good. There is tiny imperfections in between the fingers but again it is a home cast doll so um but yeah she i mean it's like home cast but not like it's the nicest home cast i've ever seen but you know she does cast them herself in house but besides that i'm not except for like between the fingers a little bit i'm not really seeing any fleshing or like anything like that or any um bubbles i've seen zero bubbles the detailing of the hands is so pretty like she's got oh we're showing her face now these lines oh, okay the face is out and she's adorable she's very very cute she has kind of like a furrowed brow a little bit like a happening i really like that and she's got a really cute little profile she's so cute okay I actually really quite like the body too. It seems strong, if that makes sense. Like she looks athletic. Does that make sense? But really, really beautiful. Okay, so I already looked at kind of the leg mobility here of the knee. Um, and she, yeah, gets to about there, like a three quarter. And then she's single jointed on her hip. So her leg will get to about here and then sits back in the socket pretty flush like that for the chest we get like that there's a little bit of a bump but nothing really and then not as much slouch forward but still really nice touches her face obviously she is super loose uh she has quite a large ball here that's really interesting but it looks really good um yeah, she looks really cute. So she's got a neck ball, so she can get like, you know, loads of mobility on her neck. Interesting. So this is the inside of the head cap with the eyes in. And then the inside of the head, this is where you can tell that it, they were cast um, by her. Just the inside of the head. But that's really interesting. So it's like, there's this normal bit it goes through, and then there's like a secondary joint that they're strung through to protect the neck, I guess. Kind of cool. Haven't I haven't seen that before. That's pretty neat, though. All right, so um, I don't really have the means to like give her a face up or anything right now, but I can get her in an outfit and a wig and start her with that, just so she's not standing around naked. Um, but yeah, she's for like first impressions is the body is extremely adorable. I like it a lot. It is the nicest home cast doll I've ever seen. It is very loosely strung and I will have to restring it in the future. But besides that, I'm just I'm just smitten with her. She's just really, really cute. OK, so I'm going to go get this girl some clothes and um, and a wig.
so this is how I've styled her. So for now, I've put her in this like white pigtail wig I got from Taobao. Um, she's wearing a cotton honey top, which fits really cute actually. It's a little bit long in the sleeves, I love that. Um, a foxu slash bu style, I, I can't remember. They seem to have like three names. Um, leggings and glitter girl shoes, but she is super duper cute. I really, really, really like her. And I actually think she's gonna fit in with my, like the dolls I sculpt really well. Um, I'm gonna go put her in the uh, the lineup just for funsies. So here's the lineup and uh, yeah, I think so. It's very much like cousins, not sisters, but I think she kind of fits the same aesthetic of especially like Luna and Soleil. Um, I don't know, she just looks really cute. Like the color, she goes with the palette. I don't know, I love her so, so much. I just think she turned out really great. I'm really happy with her and I'm so glad I was able to jump on this pre-order, especially since there were only five spots. All right, so that's the end of this video. Um, hopefully there will be no more videos filmed on my bedroom floor. Hopefully I will have an office by the time I start filming my next round of videos and unboxings and all that. But yeah, let me know what you, ah, let me know what you think of her. Um, if you think she like fits in with my other girls, let me know. Um, I will definitely post again in a coffee and dollies or something once she has a phase up. Sorry girl, everything is packed up. Ain't nobody got time for that right now. Um, also name suggestions if you have them. Uh, I have no idea. I honestly don't. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!